Hey everybody, this is Dylan. Hello, hope everyone is having a magical day. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today is a very special day because by popular demand, I am going to be doing a review of Belle's Magical Enchanted Castle by Mattel. Um, this is something that I had gotten a long time ago, um, probably about a year ago actually and I didn't have my YouTube channel or anything up and running whenever I got it. So I realized that an unboxing was never properly done. So I think that was what we have to do because it is past due at this point. <laughs> so we will be doing a review and walkthrough of the entire Bell's Enchanted Castle by Mattel. I'm super excited for this. It goes along with all of the other Enchanted Castles by Mattel. We've looked at Jasmine, we looked at Anna, we've looked at all different kinds of play sets so today we're gonna look at Belle's castle so long overdue so without further any more information uh, let's just jump right in and take a look at the castle structure and all of the different architecture because there is a lot of differences between each item and each of the princesses motifs that are used with these castles so let me clean this up a little bit and we will see what all Belle's castle has to offer so technically speaking, I believe Belle's castle is the Beast's castle, <laughs> and it is yellow, and I think that that is just because Belle is marketed in yellow, you know, she is the yellow princess, which is fine. Um, I think Belle is uh, what keeps Beauty and the Beast alive, definitely her uh, ability with the Disney princess brand. So everything is um, Beauty and the Beast themed and has Beauty and the Beast architecture. So there's like little details that look like stone on the castle. And I love kind of the, just the architecture because it does remind you a lot of Beauty and the Beast. So there's like some roses and vines there, these high, um, very fancy windows. <laughs> there's a little window here that has Mrs. Potts and Chip, and this window has Lumiere. We go up here, and then there's like some roses behind there, really, really cool. <laughs> there's a handle to hold this with. And then the roofing kind of has some roses there too. There's a balcony that of course you get the bell on that has some golden roses around it as well. <laughs> here on the side there's always a side door to these sets and this has like a rose room so it's very very cool and I'll get to show you this room whenever we get everything open but there's like some roses around an arch very pretty <laughs> we turn the castle around and this definitely reminds you of Beauty and the Beast so there's a window here with the rose enchanted rose pattern in it and then there this is obviously based on the ballroom so the ballroom uh, windows with a giant rose there I love that so much so all of the Disney princess um, castles the storytime stackers is what these are called technically they open here on the side and they're all stackable so I can add this to my stack of Ariel's castle, Elsa's castle, Jasmine's, um, Anna's castle, so everyone's castle. <laughs> so, but whenever you open this up, you can create all kinds of different little stories and different scenes. So this is definitely the ballroom because we can see this is the high windows. This is the rose motif. I like these little windows here. And over here might be Belle's bedroom. So this is cool. So look up here, there's some stained glass kind of details that remind you very much of Beauty and the Beast of Belle. Um, the beast and there's an enchanted rose motif and just candles and very elaborate kind of furniture. Um, when you have it up like this, it is a vanity, and then this is kind of, um, looks like drawers, but I think that this is mainly supposed to be Belle's bed, <laughs> which I really, really like. So this is uh, meant to represent Belle's bedroom, and then this is to represent like the dining room or the ballroom. Whenever we open this little corridor up over here, this is the bathroom. <laughs> so there's like a little uh, bathtub in there. It's really, really cute. And there's a blanket here for Bill, which we'll look at. I have that stored in there. It's a little bathtub and then there's some more details. So um, very pretty. I love Beauty and the Beast. So of course, I am a huge fan of this. So let's start filling up the castle. <laughs> so we have a purple chair, pinkish chair. This is definitely straight from the animation of the chair that Belle sits in during Be Our Guest. So there is a rose here at the top. 
I always thought that this chair was an enchanted object because it kind of walks by itself, but I always wondered when I was a kid, you know, why didn't they ever give this chair a name? <laughs> so there is a flower there on the back side. That's really cool. There's like some quilted pattern, a rose, very ornate. We could probably just, you know, uh, sit it wherever we want. <laughs> The next accessory we have is a very cool character that we rarely see any merchandise of, and this is Madame Wardrobe. And I love Wardrobe because, like I said, you know, we never see her ever, but I think it is so cool um, because uh, the last time I found a wardrobe figure was when I was little, and I still have it just because it's so rare. So wardrobe has, you know, her swirls on top because she's a very ornate piece of furniture. Um, I think the face is definitely Mattel down very much. Um, this has been kind of cute, cutesy, kind of chibi a little bit. You know, I think that that's sort of what's happened here, but it's definitely recognizable as the character. So you can open up her uh, doors, but there's not really a whole lot of storage in there. So there is little um, shelving and then there's looks like a little mold that looks like um, like a clothes hanging in there. But other than that, um, she doesn't have any storage in her. I was hoping maybe I could store Mrs. Potts and Chip in there, but um, it's def it's not big enough, and the bottom drawers don't open. So she's just kind of, you know, there. I love her so much, though I love the wardrobe in Beauty and the Beast and in the musical. Um, I think she is an amazing character. So maybe we'll put her here because she's kind of hanging out in Belle's bedroom. <laughs> so, um... Something else that we have is a uh, blanket for Belle's bed. And this is definitely Beauty and the Beast themed because look at all of the little items on there. So there's Lumiere's, there's Mrs. Potts and Chips, uh, little rose books and rose uh, motifs. I love that so much. And I think, you know, if Belle wants to take a nap or go to sleep, that this is what she's gonna need. So let us add this to her little bedroom. It's kind of sticking to my hand a little bit, um, but I absolutely love that little blanket. Of course, included in this set is Belle herself. So the only thing different about this bell versus the single bell you can get for just a few dollars is nothing. This is the same exact bell and that is different because I wish that her pink dress or maybe a, a green dress or a Christmas dress or something would have been included here. Um, but no, this, this was early too, whenever a lot of the Mattel new stuff was coming out. So I don't know if in the future we'll get even more Belle kind of items like that. But this is the same Belle that we have seen, um, them do just single. Other than, you know, just has the castle with her. So she's got her brown eyes, uh, pink lips, brown eyebrows, <laughs> and her widow's speak. She's in her yellow ball gown. There is the back of her hair but I think um, an alternate outfit would have been very pretty um, but the ball gown of course matches everything in this uh, castle because everything's yellow <laughs> but on her skirt there is some really pretty rose gold um, foil print there and she has yellow high heels on and there was no alternate outfit given with this set which was kind of surprising but um, like I said, I think that that would have just made it a little bit better for me and just would have overdone it for me. <laughs> so some more characters we have is Lumiere, the castle um, major dormo, I think is what that role is called. I'm not sure, but he has been transformed into a candelabra, so he's painted gold. He's got a little um, hooky do on his side there, um, and I was trying to get Belle to hold it earlier, and it doesn't really kind of work, so I I think we'd really have to kind of bend her hands to get it to work, but, um, but he's cute nonetheless, but I see that he's something that Belle maybe was meant to hold. So there's some kind of waxy kind of candle um, paint on top. He's got his little eyes kind of poking out, and then he's got his little uh, decorations, you know, around the base of the candelabra, so it's very pretty. Um, he also has one of these little things on the bottom, so whenever you have anything like that, you can kind of um, attach him somewhere on the castle, you know, just in case if, if you don't want him to move, you know, you could definitely do that. Um, he's pretty stable, though, on his own. Um, 
I just wish maybe Cogsworth was included. So. <laughs> Next we have Mrs. Potts and Chip. They're so tiny. This is like super, super tiny. And um, it's hard to focus because they are so tiny. So she's mostly white and she's got her little eyes. <laughs> and the, um, her hat and the bottom of her um, teapot is a purple. And she has a yellow handle. So, so gorgeous. And um, even with these, even more, just because they're so small, um, just kind of a little attachment you can attach her to wherever you need. Chip is kind of the same, you know, just super small and lots of purple, white, uh, yellow. Chip has little golden kind of trim around his head, his little chip in his cup, and then he's got his little um, handle. <laughs> so we'll just stick them there. <laughs> and um, the last item that we have is actually pretty cool because it is like a dessert table and this is definitely reminiscent of Bjarga. So it's like a yellow gilded table and we have little rose blossoms on it. Very pretty little swirls and um, there's little pegs here so we can add um, our enchanted character friends. Um, but so we can kind of flip the... Um, I don't know how to do that, how to flip it. Mm. Oh, okay, so you just kind of flip it like that. <laughs> so, and the other side looks like a sticker, and it has like a full course on it, of course. Very, very cool. So Belle's gonna be eating some good food. <laughs> so, but I like to keep it like this, preferably. Yeah. Just gotta get it to kind of click right. I can put that there. And they have included a cool little cake that has little rosettes uh, piped on it and a rose there. So, you know, definitely calling back to Beauty and the Beast. And we can stick it here on the table. And the same with Mrs. Potts and Chip, um, just to keep them safe, you know. Oh, Miss Wardrobe, no. She's very hollow, um, very, very hollow. I, I kind of pictured her to have more like storage space and stuff, but I'm just glad to have her. It's been so long. <laughs> so it's really cool, you know, and I don't really know what the little bath is for, but if I had to guess, it's probably like where they wash the dishes. So maybe it's like where Chip kind of hangs out in there. <laughs> really, really cool. Um, and of course, you know, whenever it's time for Belle to go to sleep, we just want her to hop in her bed. <laughs> and we'll put the little blanket over her. She looks like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> or, you know, whenever it's dinner time and it's time to serve dinner, <laughs> Belle can uh, sit in the master's chair. All right, everybody, that's all the details here. Thank you so much for watching this video of Belle's Enchanted Castle by Mattel. I'm so excited. I love anything Beauty and the Beast, and of course I love a Beauty and the Beast themed dollhouse. <laughs> so let me know what you think of this. Do you own this, or are you planning to get it now? I found this at Target, but I'm pretty sure you could order it from Amazon or Target Online, or I'm sure any other toy stores. So, and of course, if this was your first time here and you enjoyed this type of thing and want to see more of it, please subscribe so that way you never miss my post and never miss a new video upload. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>